Welcome back here on Live Now from Fox, the time 1208 over on the East Coast and 908 on the West Coast. I do want to get you back to this breaking story that we have been following out of Newark, New Jersey. That is where a person has been shot. It appears to be outside of a mosque there, but we are working to gather the latest information. This is some aerial footage that was provided by our Fox 5 New York team as they are gathering those details for us here. I do want to bring in Stephanie Bertini with our Fox 5 New York team joining us now live with the latest details. Stephanie, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. I know police were out there for a while and there is still a lot left to figure out. Absolutely, a lot of questions here. We just confirmed that the person who was shot here at this mosque in Newark is an imam who leads prayer here at the mosque. And so now the question is why? Why did this happen? What was the motive and who pulled the trigger? We haven't heard any details from police who are on the ground right now working the investigation. We do know the victim is at a nearby hospital in critical condition. That information is coming to us from the Newark Public Safety Director. Now, there's several options officers here at the scene. We also saw people inside the mosque. Specifically, we've seen law enforcement around the neighborhood as well. People in the area want to know how this could happen. The news has already traveled that a faith leader was targeted. I think it's messed up because me myself, I'm Muslim and the E-Man, he does a lot for the community. To me, it's, it's sad. You know, it's sad. But um, I don't know. It's, all I can say is there's a lot of consequences. So we see those reactions there, Josh. Again, so many questions still. This situation breaking this morning is now developing. We're told police were called here just after 6 in the morning. And I guess the question really becomes, do we know anything about how deputies are working to investigate this at this point? I'm sure it is a difficult crime to, to investigate there, and a lot of people have questions. So do we know how detectives are going about doing this? So we know... We know, Josh, what we're seeing here on the ground. We noticed detectives focusing on the parking lot behind me here. Uh, that parking lot is the parking lot of the mosque. We also noticed detectives going around to different uh, businesses, churches uh, in the area looking for surveillance video. As you know, with this type of investigation, surveillance can really help in this type of situation. So many questions, of course, because this person is prominent within the Muslim uh, faith community here in Newark, uh, there's going to be many more questions uh, coming out. And I think this case will definitely um, get a lot of attention um, as people want to know why this happened and, and who would do this really. Have police said if they plan to hold any sort of news conference or anything of that nature anytime soon, or is that also still kind of up in the air? So we're working to get that information. Haven't heard uh, anything about that yet. I imagine, though, at some point we will hear from police either via a news conference or a statement. We are on the ground working to gather details. And, of course, we'll be able to update uh, viewers as soon as we get those details. A lot of people who live in this neighborhood want those answers. And, of course, uh, this story uh, is well beyond Newark. Uh, this story making headlines as we're seeing across the nation. A lot of people have their eyes on this right now, Josh. Very true. All right, Stephanie Bertini there with our Fox 5 New York team. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. And as we learn more, I'm sure we'll check back in. Thank you again.